Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Michael Fanning, and this is Warm Up 247. As you can see, it's a little dark out this morning. Um, hey, I revisited a book called The Charge by Brendan Bouchard. And in that book, he talks about these 10 human drives. And I just want to kind of go over them because it really helped me. And my question to you or my suggestion to you was to write these down. And then as I talk about them, identify how you show up with each one of these drives. Because in the book, he talks about three types of lives. He talks about a caged life, a comfortable life, and a charged life. So a caged life is, you know, it's just we're going through that routine and maybe we're in a life, but we don't, we aren't really satisfied or fulfilled. And then there's a comfortable life where we're like, hey, yeah, you know, I like my job and I have a paycheck and my family's good, but it's just comfortable, but we're not really contributing really very much. And then there's the charged life, and that's life where we have fulfillment and we achieve our dreams and we live the life we want to have. And so there's these 10 human drivers. So the first one he talks about is control. Are you a proactive or a reactive individual on a daily basis? Are you taking control of your world every day or are you just reacting to whatever comes your way? That's one thing to look at. Ask yourself, are you doing that? The other one is competence. How competent are you at anything that you do? Because competence builds confidence. Uh, we just launched a podcast uh, three weeks ago uh, for our coaching program. And I gotta tell you, the first one out, we're just learning. But we had confidence in saying, you know, we're gonna do it. And then the second time we did it, we got more confident. And when we get more confident, we get more confidence. And you're never gonna please everybody. There's always gonna be naysayers. And don't listen to the naysayers. Listen to the people that give you constructive criticism, take that criticism and get better and better and better and better. Uh, the third one is congruence, right? This is a simple one. Are the actions that you take every day congruent with the person you identify with? And there's people that have negative congruence, meaning their actions are not what they say, right? There's people that have positive congruence, meaning that they are who they say, right? That works out that way. And then there's no congruence, right? Where it's just like, it's it's not even the same in any way, shape or form. Uh, the next one is caring, caring for yourself. If you wanna take care of others, you've gotta care for yourself. Robin Sharma will say, if you don't make time for exercise, eventually you have to make time for disease. Um, just take care of yourself physically and emotionally, right? Caring is a huge one. Uh, connection, who are your circle of friends? Who are the people in your life that you're connected to? Are they positive impact, positively impacting you or negatively impacting you? Who's your reference group? Who are your five people? And what type of friends do you have? Do you have those deep connected friends? Or do you have those kind of surface friends? Those superficial friends, right? Who are they? And at least have five good solid friends. Uh, the next one is change. Do you embrace change as good or do you embrace change as bad? How do you see change, right? Are you reluctant to change? Are you in that kind of fixed mindset? Or are you in that growth? mental flexibility mindset challenge how often do you challenge yourself how often do you push yourself out of your comfort zone and take on a challenge you know a lot of people still have goals goals and challenges are not the same thing a goal means there's something i want to achieve the challenge is what's the how difficult is that thing that i'm going to achieve right how am i pushing myself um this one i love is creativity what are you contributing back to society on a daily basis? How are you being creative, right? And letting your mind go to that place. And so I'm gonna give you some questions. Ask yourself these questions. Does the interior style of your home reflect your personality? Just look around. Uh, do you feel heard with friends and family? Is your work representative of who you are? Is your personality uh, an important part of your friendships? Do your hobbies represent your interests? Okay. Are you contributing to the world? Simple little things to think about. Those questions, these measure your creativity. And just think about those. And then uh, the next one is contribution. Are you contributing every single day? What are you doing? How are you giving back? How are you contributing on a daily basis? The next one is consciousness. Are you walking around in a non-conscious state and not aware, or are you living in a conscious state? Are you, and I talked about this in a couple of months back, is right, is detaching from your world and being conscious in the moment and saying, how are you showing up? How are you being perceived? What words are you choosing to use? And then he ends it just by saying this, one of the ways to get into this world a little bit better to be in those 10, uh, those 10 drivers is to do what's called a 90 day breakout. So every 90 days, give yourself the ability to break out into out of your normal life and go do something. 
uh, whether it's a, a road trip or a hike or something along those lines where you just get out of the routine so that you can be creative. Because the challenge we have is our brains, right, when we're in the middle of doing everything and running our daily lives, our brains don't have the chance to be that creative brain and really think about those things and be introspective. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, this is the book called The Charge. I'll put a link to the book uh, in this podcast. Uh, I mean, in this uh, warm up, sorry. And, uh, you know, hopefully this is helpful. But write those out and just ask yourself, how are you? Maybe even uh, pick up the book and read the book. All right, everybody. Hey, make it a great day. Be awesome and help somebody. And thank you again for listening. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm.